trail doesn't actually exist anymore. Big washouts here, big huge landslide. All right, so we are here heading up the side of the lake. So we'll have to take a look and see if we can get across that. If we can get up there, this is a nice little, looks like a little lookout spot over the lake. Just, there's a road that goes at least to here. Uh, I suspect it's impassable. But again, on the map, it shows the road ends right here where this creek is. So I think maybe there's a bridge out. Washouts, impassable routes. Just an average day. It's the recipe for adventure. Yeah, <laughs> let's get dirty. So I brought the Wrangler out for this trip. Uh, Sean said the washouts might be a little bit sketch, a little bit more sketchy than normal. And uh, the Wrangler definitely is better at doing sketchy. So we've got, uh, we've got the Destroyer out. This winter is like spring, it's crazy. There's like no snow anywhere, so. Sky. Yeah, the, t the tires are back on the Trail Destroyer, no tracks. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out the story till now on YouTube as well, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about with tracks. Your uh, truck is uh, looking less attractive. You guys remember Gretchen from hey, the Rubicon? <laughs> Charlie's with us today. <laughs> All right, so it looks like Sean's got a bit of a game plan head to some areas that we haven't been to before, have been washed out before, and maybe some sketchy passes. All right, sounds like the perfect recipe for adventure. Potential washouts, closed roads that don't continue on the map, epic mountain bowls, and uh, maybe a little lake if we're lucky. Not like this, this big lake. There's a big lake right here underneath all of those clouds there. You can believe it. It's one of my favorite things about coming off-roading in British Columbia in the winter are just all of these amazing waterfalls that are out here. They're just raging like crazy. All right, up we go. We're gonna try to get a little bit of elevation and get above these clouds a little bit. There's a layer of fog sitting right over top of the lake that I think we can get up and above and then see the mountains poking out about the fog. All right, let's get through this washout. It's been such a warm winter and so much rain that we can probably see some more washouts as we go. <laughs> Getting a little overgrown. Oh, so. Yeah, I'm hopeful. The view will be nice above everything. It's a little, uh, a little overgrown up here. I don't think anybody's been up here in a while, so. We have punched up through the clouds and we're getting into the mountains now. This looks really cool. Looks like we got a few trees blocking the trail. Coming that way, I think. Oh, we got more. Yeah, we got a bigger one down there. Down on this road. Yep. All right. Good enough for me.
little bit of snow up here. Look at this. It's still five degrees, but there must be a ton of snow up here at some point. Quick little check-in. It's about 12.30. It's starting to get cloudy again, and there's more and more snow on the trail as we go. And it's really overgrown. Sean says this may be impassable, so let's go have a look. Ooh, this looks sketchy. <laughs> ha, are you kidding me? <laughs> Holy moly. Yeah, you go here, and then you put your wheel in here, and then you just roll down. Oh, this is uh, quite the view, even though it's a little <laughs> bit sketchy looking and bushy. <laughs> There's no road anymore. Yeah. <laughs> In the river and everything. Get it, buddy. Let's go, Curtis. <laughs> Here, whatever. Battled through and come out the other side and look at these mountains up here. Oh, this is cool. I need a telephoto lens on the uh, Pocket 3, but that's where we're heading, into those mountains up there. That'd be super cool. See what the holdup is. Fallen trees, washout, sketchy road. Let's find out. This is a little, a little less maintained than we were expecting. <laughs> yeah. oh. Most of this stuff you could drive over it, no problem. You just have to clear it. There's a couple more trees up there. But I yeah. think the play is we send the drone ahead to see the spot where I suspected that it might be just washed out. Yeah. It's still quite a ways up there. And it would be complete waste of our time yeah if there's no bridge right yeah that's where we're trying to get yeah to, that, Saint road goes right that right mountain's there. sick and that'd this be, is where it goes i'd be super sick to get up there so i don't know if you guys can see that we'll adjust the shot here a little bit but how adventurous are we feeling there's some peaks right there 
and this road keeps going in that direction. So Sean is gonna send out the scout. We are all feeling adventurous. So if it looks good, we'll go. That's why I brought the JL. So I don't mind stuffing it through these tight trails full of crap and who knows what's down there. It's a little easier to maneuver than the Demonator. Grab your I Like Rocks shirt at dirtyanddangerous.com. Definitely a washout here, but there's no way to know like, I mean, it's hard to tell if you can drive over that or not. I think this looks pretty impossible. There's a huge slide oh, there. Oh yeah, look at that. Let's zoom in a bit. All right, option one to get us to the mountains doesn't look good. Big slide. Uh, if we keep pushing past some of this overgrown stuff, we're gonna be into a really sketchy situation. We may not even be able to get past it. And it is currently 3.30 and it's gonna get dark. So we've got a couple more forks. Maybe one will kind of get us around or I don't know, it'd be cool to camp near the river. There's a huge, huge river right below us here. And that's always a good spot to camp because the sound of the river while you're sleeping is awesome. I love it. That's Camping on the ocean with the waves, camping next to a river are my favorite two places to camp. You get the best sleeps. All right, let's go check out the other routes. Do a little backtracking. Maybe we can get a little closer to some of these big uh, snow-peaked monsters. They're just right there. I just want to camp right at the bottom of them. <laughs> A little bit of a slide. Another slide up for further up. Looks like we are into the snow. I was not expecting to just randomly come across wintertime on this trail, although it is February, so to be expected, but the trail's been clear up until this point. All of a sudden it's snowy. All right, looks like we've got the next partial washout here. We'll see if it's uh, passable. Oh, <laughs> wow, look at this. That's something. Wow, we got big washouts here around the culverts. Big, huge landslide. Yeah, it's, uh, oh. There is a big part of the washout here. Holy moly. Oh boy. Yeah, looks like the part of the the hill fell down here. <laughs> this is uh, this is something.
right. Well, that, uh, I thought that was going to be a lot sketchier than what it was, to be honest. Those, those uh, washouts, the ruts in between the snowpack there that's been washed away from the water just barreling through there, uh, left some pretty deep, like four or five foot ruts, but we were just able to stay enough to the side and the snow was uh, hard enough. All that, what looked like dirt was actually snow with just dirt on top of it. So we were able to stay and climb up on it, stay on it and climb up on it. So you never know, you never know what those snowy washouts are gonna be. But uh, yeah, we'll keep going forward. We've kind of decided we're gonna kind of push forward a little bit more and uh, see if this opens up at all for a nice spot to camp. Otherwise, we're gonna probably just come back to the edge of that. It's a nice kind of flat spot. We can pack some of the snow down and set up shop here fairly soon. Get some dinner going, but look at this. Uh, this is opening right up. I don't know how much snow we're sitting on. We're floating on top of it right now. Let's see what's around the corner. The trail doesn't actually exist anymore. So, I mean, like it exists, but it's not on the map. <laughs> and uh, we're not quite sure where this ends up, but we're approaching this mountain bowl in front of us, which I don't think this would be possible to get up here this time of year if it wasn't such a warm winter. We have reached the end of the road. Kind of feel like back by that washout was a little bit of a nicer location. Yeah, let's just loop around and head back there. Looks like we have hit the end of the road and it's getting pretty dark. It's five o'clock, everybody's got all their lights on. We're just gonna spin it around here at the end and go back to the edge of that washout because I think the views are better there and I think there's enough that we can kind of, I think there's enough room that we can corral all the Jeeps together and set up camp for the evening, get a fire going and do some relaxing. Beautiful spot, look at the mist kind of hanging in the valley here. All right guys, this looks like a pretty good spot to set up. Pop open the tent, get our gear inside and uh, get some chow cooking. If you guys are wondering about my rooftop tent, there is a full review on the channel. I'll put a link down in the description for you guys to check out if you want. I know I kind of snuck the hard top on and didn't really talk too much about it, but it was the right move. I've had enough of the soft top. Having that tailgate nice and easy to open and not have to mess around at all anytime I want to get into any of this gear. It's gonna be a chilly night, but that's okay. Get our sleep system set up. Throw some pillows in here and we'll throw some electrical up here and we'll call it done. barbecue sauce out for the steak and uh, if you're wondering where I got this hat it was made for me by Mrs. 250. If you guys are interested in the Viking hats let me know in the comments maybe we can convince her to make a few more and put them on dirtyanddangerous.com but if you don't want a Viking hat you can always pick up some cool merch like this Dirty and Dangerous adventure hoodie or there's hats or toques or key tags, stickers, t-shirts and I appreciate it a lot. It helps support and make these videos, go on these ventures, all that kind of stuff. And you get some cool merch out of it. Oh. 
good morning guys. Whoa, it's freezing. Whoa, it's still really cold out here. Morning, Gretchen. Morning. <laughs> it's not clear, but I think if it was clear out this morning, it would be even colder. We've got camp going here still. Oh. Yeah, it got colder overnight. Everything that we drove on yesterday is frozen. See. Just how deep this is here feet at the lower side but we'll stay on the high side and then there's another crack over here there's another one that we have to go through right here which is also quite deep I feel like starting the morning with some uh, get my hands warmed up because I should probably be wearing gloves while walking around they're losing their feeling in them it's cold All right, we're just stopping to air up. We just made our way off the trail, guys. And if you didn't already know, Epic Adventure Outfitters is giving away one of their tire inflation systems, the Kraken, which we're using to air up here right now. They're also giving away $650 in cold, hard cash. And that's US cash. So that's like a million dollars Canadian. Not, not actually, but like close. So there's no purchase necessary at all. If you want a chance to win, just go click on the link down in the description and the pin comment. They're gonna be giving it away on February 14th. All the details are in the link down below. Click on it, costs you nothing. Just put in your email address and there's a couple other ways to get a bunch of bonus entries. Do it soon. Get your hands on one of these Kraken tire inflation systems and money. Who doesn't, who doesn't like money, honestly? Get, go get some money. But what a great adventure. Minder, go follow Sean at A Story Till Now. Subscribe to my channel, KC250, if you want to see more awesome adventures, Jeep mods, and tons of product reviews. We're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers and we're getting so close. So hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications. And if you want some bonus content, check out the members portion of my channel. There's a little join button next to the subscribe button uh, where I upload more content for you guys, behind the scenes, things going on between videos, all that kind of fun stuff. All right, with that said, we're going to wrap this video up and I'm out of here. I'll catch you guys in the next one.